We're trying everything in the October 2021 Keto Crate right after this. Welcome to Smash the Crate, the monthly series where me, my husband, and my mother try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Let's get started. So first of all, they had some really cute literature. Oh, yes, we always it's like, ooh, snacks. snacks. That, is, that's, what I, that's what I always say when I see snacks is like, yes, exactly. It's very Halloween-y. halloween -y. You see what I did there? No, we shouldn't have been in costumes. No! Costumes. Let's jump right into it. The first thing we're gonna try is super coffee. Yes. Lean in. Do, what? Hello? Have we not changed how to do it? Okay. Uh, maple pumpkin. I'm not excited about this at all. I think my mother will be. Well, I mean, the word coffee got me, but. Maple, oh, maple, I know, maple pumpkin. pumpkin, exactly. So I had to put it in this uh, shaker bottle Wait, because it wasn't called again? maple pumpkin. Oh, I did not pay attention to you. So once again, <laughs> pay attention to when I say no, things. So. Maple and pumpkin scare me. I know, it's just and coffee. I don't know. Okay, let's go. That's not maple pumpkin spice. Oh my God, no. Ew. It's not horrible, but why? I can like taste a weird pumpkin aftertaste. Mm -hmm. I can taste it's like all three. it's like coffee, then maple, yeah. then finishes with pumpkin. And I'm yeah. just like, like my mom said, why? Oh, no. Um, no, tier four for yeah. me. I like three. Like, I do like other super coffees though. Oh, no, oh, yes. I gotta the cream is wonderful. I mean, yeah, no, no. But it's Halloween, so. Ooh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the, yeah. Well, no. hey. The is frightening. It is. That's a scary flavor. <laughs> okay, don't forget our tiering system for all the new people out there, right? Um, tier four means hate it. Would never buy it. Would spit it out. Wouldn't take it if, if offered for free, right? Well, we didn't spit it out. I mean, so that? I mean, yeah, exactly. Okay, N not taking a second <laughs> bite. Tier number three means like, eh, you know, we're working our way up from worst to best, right? Tier number mm -hmm. three is like, eh. If someone gave it to me for free, I would take it. It's not the first thing I'm reaching for. I don't really love it, but like it's good to have around in case of emergency, right? That's me on this. Story. Yeah, yeah. Tier number two is, mm, you know what? That's good. I wouldn't really buy it, but like if somebody gave that to me, I would keep that, you know, and I would I would eat that. So that's pretty good. And then tier one is like, this is delicious. I would buy it. I have bought it. This tastes amazing, spending right? Spending her own money yes. dollars. On yeah, there. spending my own money dollars on a product. Ooh, that's that's why you notice know, not a lot of products get a tier one. Or, but I really have to change it to say if I were to buy this, this. then I would, you know, just based on flavor. But that, yes. for me, that was a tier four. I would never drink that ever again. Mm -hmm. But once again, don't really like coffee, don't really like pumpkin flavored things. Definitely don't think those should mix, right? So overall, it's a no for me, dog. Moving on, we have a real beef stick. This is just a beef stick. It's original flavor. Yeah, you know, like that's, I don't have anything else to say. How many meats? I mean, Different brands. I mean, things. look, I mean, this is all I want to say. If, you, if you're trying to start a business out there and you're like, but there's other people out there already doing it. Think of the meat stick companies, okay? There's literally 70 zillion meat stick companies out there, but they're not like somebody's already making a meat stick. Like they know that they have the meat stick that people actually need, right? So it's just like... Mm, let you read up on it. It's just original beef stick. That's all you need to read. Yeah. Okay, look, it just looks like a beef stick. Lean in, Richard! I am reading the name! I'm soft and chewy. I don't like it. I love that. Mm -hmm. Two minus. I mean, nope, tier three. It could be a more pungent taste to it. Like it has none of the, none of the zip or zing. But. Tier one. Tier three. That was just, it was quite squishy. I, it yeah. wasn't like tough and chewy yes. like I prefer my meat stick. So that one, mm -mm. But this is what I am excited to try. Mission Meats Beef Bar. Ooh. So this is a meat bar. It's not a meat so stick. A meat bar. Yeah, yeah, because I'm assuming that this has to be tougher and chewier. And that is my, you know, that's my favorite that's qualities like of my meats. No it's idea. tough and chewy. So... Oh I don't know, but now that I look at it, it does look quite homogenous. Like, it's like, it's like a small spam. If you cut it, like it does. Spam. What? Mm. I see. Okay. 
I don't know if I'm gonna like this because it does. It's very. It does look like spam. Mm, like some type of well, pudding please, or something. Yeah, please like surprise. Like a like a sausage, like an undone yeah. sausage. Yes. Like. Mm, I don't know. Okay, let's go. For All it. right, One let's way to go. Find out. Like a candy bar. Oh my god. I don't like that flavor. What's happening here? No, no, no. What's well, even... Yeah, I mean that's that's I still a tier. Really that's a tier three for me still. It was a little yeah, that's really chewier than than the first meat stick, which I did what? like, but the salty flavor was weird. Like I just it was not very well, pleasant to like me. Indescribable. I don't think it was a meat stick. I mean, it was a bar. meat bar. That's yeah. the whole point. Delicious. Not my jam. And yes. I've, you know, I, I don't really I like, like yeah, I don't really like meat sticks, but I've had meat sticks that you I enjoyed don't? more. Uh, me? Don't like meat sticks? What? Wow. No. Breaking news. I know. But no. Mm -mm. Okay. Moving on. Yes. yes. What no, 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 no. Oh, I give it a tier three. Yeah. Pork and good ranch pork rinds. This is exciting. This is very exciting. Yeah, because pork and good yeah. generally does really good with their flavors. No, I don't think I've ever had a ranch yeah. before. Yeah. The look, the seasonings <laughs> on these, like they just look, uh, like, they look like ranch, like dusted in ranch. Uh, they do. It's very <laughs> nicely seasoned. See, they take this approach to ranch the, to dusted the, uh, to the beef meat stick. Okay. All right. There you go. Let's go. Nicely seasoned. Mmm. Very ranchy. You definitely taste the taste. Mmm. It's really, it's really sour. Maybe it's like the dill. Yeah. I, I like the fluffiness of these. Yeah. Oh. Pork and good always really has a mm -hmm. good texture. That's definitely a tier two for me. I like the flavor. Mm. Pork and good has other flavors that I like better, but yes. that's. That's good. Like the butter. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, Salted yeah. butter. Thank yes. you very much. Oh, so that would, is so good. I would agree it's a two as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're twos all around the board. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, but in terms of my favorite brands of pork rind, this is tier one. This is number one. This is my it's number one flavor. favorite brand of pork rind. Okay. The only thing that I don't like is that you can't buy it in the stores, that yeah. you have to order yeah. it offline, yeah. but it's worth it. Like, especially that salted butter. Oh, yeah. I mean, delicious. Oh, tier agree. two for me. Moving on. Better than good protein puffs, baked uh -oh. cheddar. So I have a feeling these are going to be delicious as oh, well. Yeah, like that. Like yeah. shrewd foods. Protein shrewd puffs. foods oh, does yeah, have yeah. good. Look at your name drop. Oh, oh, look at you. Yeah, we should have just we ripping it up. All right, we're good. Okay. Yes. Can I have some of those? Yeah. I didn't mean to pour them. You're fine. Okay. Anything from so these are definitely life. heavily cheese dusted coated yeah. balls, right? So yeah. Okay. And baked cheddar. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, crunchy! Woo! Very Cheeto dust. You know Pungent. what? Oh yeah, I like it. Something went in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dusty <laughs> nose! Oh, dusty nose! Um, I really like those. That's a tier one. Like I that is, know. it is That's cheesy. A... It's not only really that; it's cheese dusty. Yeah. You know, like it definitely gives you that chip vibe because mm -hmm. you get. Like if I if I like picked Cheetos. it up and just rubbed them, yeah, yeah. and just tossed it, like you you're yeah, you're but, they would be caked orange, right? Yeah. And that is what I look that's for. What you want. That's your second yeah. snack after you have that. Yeah, after you have you got your you got your finger pops, you know. So you it's just evidence like, on your hand. Exactly. Mm. So that you is know who been in your puff. That is <laughs> that is really good. Like these. <laughs> That's a tier one. I love those. I, I talk about too. how better than what? good snacks. Thank you. I do too. I talk about how good. better than good. They are better than they good. Are. They're great. I was saying great one snacks. As well. the, yeah. the flavor is what I love the most. And that's what that's what I said. You remember they had the uh, cheeseburger puffs? Oh yeah. You know, I like remember. the that pizza puffs. Yeah. The yeah. Like, how did they? Oh, how do they make it taste like a whole oh, cheeseburger experience? So yeah, like to the these are yeah these are really good and the the baked cheddar. That's exactly what you need. Yeah. Oh gosh, oh, thank goodness I found these. But we should have tried these earlier. Yeah, okay, also if you don't know, I go in order from like, I'm, I'm gonna save the best for laster, right? Mm -hmm. So I start with the things that I'm not looking forward to and then I end with the things that I like, right? So I usually, that's why you might notice like Tyler. tier four, tier three, tier four, like I'm just getting these out of the way because I don't think I'm gonna like them, right? Whereas I end on the things that I already know I'm gonna like, which is normally the sweet stuff, right? Yes. Like dessert. <sighs> but Pazoots, New York dill, pickle, almonds. Yay. No. Yeah. No. Uh, no. No. Oh my gosh. And the weird thing, Pazoots, they don't have any skins on them. That's weird. 
What was that? What's the the almonds oh, don't yeah, have. Right. Feel free to give me one. Yeah, no, I mean, you gotta, gotta have two. Let's put them in a tumbler. Yeah, exactly. Something to for all the skins to come up. All right, okay. I'll take two as well. We'll all take two. But well, I wonder how you get the flavor if it's not. Just an and and like I don't see any dust on it. No, I don't like how do yeah, yeah? Like how do you get? There's no dust on this. It in the okay, deal. dill almonds. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. Barely. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay. I mean, that tastes nothing. Does the bag smell like dill? Maybe. I taste dill, but it feels like they skinned a bunch of almonds and then boiled them in like dill water. You know, they put some herbs in some boiling water and just let it, okay. and then they soak, I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I can see that. Tier four. I mean, yeah. these don't taste nearly as bad yeah, as some of the other Pazoots flavors say, oh, that we've yeah. had. I it was like walnut something. No, it was, it was it's like something. super subtle dill. It's yeah, it's very super subtle mm -hmm. dill. I would never choose this over all the other nuts that, that I have tasting. access to. No, they're not bad tasting because it it's a hint of deal. Yeah. You know, that it's at anything, it's just a it's just an almond, right? Just, I mean, you know what? I'll give it a tier three on taste. A tier four in terms of what I act would I practically ever buy these yes. or eat these? Yes. No. no. But yes. they don't they're not like spit out. You're right. Tier three. Dill is a take it or leave it spice for me. Okay. Okay, Pazoots. Not not your worst <laughs> showing, not your best. There you go. Okay, next we are trying Quavos. Ooh, yes. Oh, so these are Quavos Rancheros, which I said I was excited about because I said we we got a crap ton of Quavos for um for Keto Palooza. Yes. And so they were all sour like, cream and green, onion. Yes, yeah, it was sour cream and onion. Yes. And those were delicious. Like, I don't know if you've eaten yours yet, but no. we had a lot of Quavos left over and, and I had my fair share and of Quavos. What are Quavos. So Quavos are like egg white chips. Nice. So they're like little like chips, but they're made of egg whites, and that's why why they're yes. low carb, right? Exactly. It's like a different alternative to pork rinds. Yeah, exactly. And so you I'm excited. Dip those in, uh, to, those yes, but I don't know if they'd be as sturdy. They could like snap exactly. in half, right? But I'm excited to try this flavor Me because too. I've never had one that wasn't sour cream and onion. So here. Quavo Rancheria. Oh, these look really seasoned. Oh, I, yeah, I, I can think it's going to hold the guacamole. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Probably. That looks tasty. Yeah. It almost looks like a cheese it but you know it's not going to be cheesy and or well, taste like a cheese it. Anyway. Okay, also. let's go. Oh, nice that's really cheesy. Like, nice crunch. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's got a seasoning to it. It, like, mm -hmm. it really fills your mouth. I enjoy it. It's a small chip, but it has a big body of flavor. Yes. Ooh, oh, big body of flavor. Shart. That's really good. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear it's crunching, but Quavos are crunchy. And I mm. really, really enjoy that. Me too. Oh, a tier one, yeah. I see. I would say tier one. I would definitely buy those. Mm. I'm, I think tier two, as excited as I was to try these, I do like the sour cream um, and onion better. Seriously? No, yeah, but delicious. I know, but like these are still really good though. Like mm -hmm. if I if I'm looking on Amazon, like which flavor of Quavos am I gonna buy? I would choose sour cream and onion over that. Very seasoned. But if there was no sour cream and onion, mm, mm -hmm. that'll do. Look at mm. Listen to the crunch. Oh my gosh. Tier one in terms of like crunch. And the flavor's good, but tier two just it's in comparative. Fa favorite, a exactly. More favorite or yeah, more favorite or one. Yes, but that was that was really good. Mmm, Quavo, she done done it. Bravo, encore author. Mm -mm. Now my favorite segment. We's moving into the sweets, and so Here we go. I know. So I first, the drug there. We're starting. <laughs> with, <laughs> come over to the sweets. <laughs> we're starting with Keto Farms cocoa dusted almonds. So these are going to be delicious. Nice. They are just cocoa dusted almonds. And, but it's more than just cocoa. It's like sweetener too. Yes. So they're like sweet cocoa dusted almonds. Look how, look how Ooh, cocoa wow. dusted they are. Yeah. Yes. Dusty. This was the deal. Oh. We might change our mind. No, I still, I wouldn't want this to be dill dusted <laughs> no, like that. No. Mm -mm. So these are just brown, like dusted almonds. Yeah, okay, let's go. Actual cocoa. Mmm. They're stale. Oh, I was gonna say, why is it soft? Yeah, mm -mm. Something, ha game? something happened. Yeah. It's so tough and they're so tasty and chewy. Mm -mm. No, these are not supposed to be like this. Yeah, I mean, and I don't the think. Dust did it? Yeah. Bad, you think maybe the I dust kind of. Oh God, no! Something's wrong. I think I think I've had those before, and they weren't like that. Mm -mm. September twenty twenty two. But I'm saying maybe the package was open or something, oh, and air got into yes, it. Yes, I forgot about that. Mm -mm. I don't know, cause this, these are not. 
Well, no. Like regular well, almond milk. Okay, the flavor the is almost. delicious. Yes. But it, it was a soft, soft almond. Yeah. That was not a good. That was not a good look. So, comment down below. Did you experience that the softness with the cocoa dusted almonds? Because if that's what they're actually like, mm -hmm. that's a tier four. Like I can't even do tier three. I would oh. never eat those. Like it would. It it's it weirded me out. Like oh my God. I have to imagine that <laughs> something went wrong. Like so. Hopefully those are crunchy. Comment. Did you get crunchy almonds? Let us know. Yes. Next, we are having IQ Bar Wild Blueberries, so at least there's some fruit. There we go. Yeah. Woo -woo. Oh my gosh. So this actually does have blueberries in it. Oh wow. It's it's Ooh, very it's like that. blue. It's like a tint. It's like a it's like a tinge of blue. Yeah. Or uh, like purple. So. Yeah, I was gonna say it's more purple. But it definitely smells of blueberry. I can smell, yeah. The color is kind of weird, off-putting, but you know, when you know it's blueberry, it, it is what it is. Okay. Yes. Go. Mm. Mm. I'm waiting for the flavor, though. I mean, it's not... Mm. The smell of the blueberry... Like, the blueberry know, flavor is not actually very strong. Two and a half. That's a tier two, two and a half, yeah. Mm. It's, that's more tier two. I would eat that. I mean, the texture alone is good. And the taste is good enough. I mean, like, I barely get blueberry. I'm going three on the Blue side. barely. You know what I'm saying? Next, we have the cookie department championship uh -oh. uh -oh. chocolate chip. Wow. So remember, the cookie department is the the birthday cake one yes. with the sprinkles, oh, right? Okay. So this is, we're actually trying a different flavor, and I'm excited. God, yeah. this looks good. Oh, like, ooh. ooh. My goodness, that looks like a Nestle actual, told so house. So do. Okay. Nice portion. Okay, I'm trying to be better about that. I'm trying not to be such a selfish biatch. Okay, okay, let's try it. Mmm. You take your time with that. Moist. It is moist. Uh oh. Is that supposed to be? I think so. I hope so. It's good to me. Mm, yeah. This is delicious. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Cake. Like a, no, it's like not not spongy. It's just very dense. Like it's just, it's, it's almost like it's a, it's not cooked all the way. Like because it's more like cookie dough. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very good. Well, like, it almost disintegrates because that's how soft it is. Yes. Ooh, look at the championship. Yeah, right. It's championship. That won the championship. That's a tier one. Plus those chocolate chips were delicious. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would mm -hmm. say it's your one as well. That's a good wow. thing I could, I could get involved one, one, with. One, 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 one. That was delicious. Okay, so penultimately, we are trying Love Good Fats, oh, yeah. Chewy Nutty Bars. This is also another one from Keto Palooza that is really good. Have you tried oh, yours? Yeah, oh, yeah these are tried it all. all of them. Well, so much. Love Good Fats, they're regular bars. I never really liked the texture, but then they have this Chewy Nutty like line of bars. That is very, very right, delicious. So it's very much like a kind bar. Oh, okay. like kind. Yeah. Thing. So you see that? I mean, oh, look at that. Right. Yeah. It definitely passes is. the look test. Yes, it definitely passes the look test. That looks, yeah, it that looks appetizing ooh. to the eyes. That looks amazing. Sure. It, and look, it bends so it's chewy. Oh, you know, like you sense. know it's already going to be chewy. So, But then you can sense. clearly see. The almonds, and that's where the nutty comes in, right? Mm -hmm. So overall, just well played. Okay, let's, let's go. Mm. As, as a person who's not really a chocolate person, this is really good. Yeah, I feel like that's all you need, though. You're like, I wouldn't eat the whole bar, but that one bite I had. <laughs> I'm really, really satiated right now. How'd you know? I know. That is so I, wonderful. I right know here. my husband. That was very filling. Yeah, that was good. That was a tier two for me. Mm -hmm. Once again, only because the salted caramel is the tier one. Like, they also have a salted caramel flavor oh, okay. yeah, that flavor. that came in the Keto Palooza bag, oh. and so I'm directly comparing them. But if you like dark chocolate, oh, that's delicious. Like, I would say tier two. Yeah, it's a tier two. Finally, yes. Chalk Zero dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Yes. Uh -oh. right. Come through, come through. That's what I said. I was like, I was like, whenever you see Chalk Zero in a keto crate, you know this is gonna be a good one. Oh you know what I'm talking God. about? Like this crate is lit right oh here. So gosh. I'm excited to have six individually wrapped oh, yeah, that's neat. peanut butter cups. Be all on my peanut butter. <laughs> I'm not gonna be touching all on your peanut butter. Oh. Although, so can I say I'm mildly like eh that these aren't pumpkins? Because I think last year. They were pumpkins, but it's okay. This is a peanut butter cup, which I am very Darned excited about. Darn if you do. Darn if you do. No, let's exactly. go. 
I didn't realize that their name was on the bottom. Yeah. What? Yeah, Where are you? Yeah. That's branding right there, Chuck Zero. Okay. Branding. Yes. Okay. And let's go. It's very melted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Delicious. I really enjoy it. That's mm. a really nice punch of chocolate. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Really nice peanut butter. I know. Yeah. I was gonna say the peanut butter spot me upside the head. Yeah. <laughs> Slapped you upside the head. Oh God! You get on my nerves. Tier one. That's yeah. delicious. Like. I mean, they have white chocolate, delicious. They have milk chocolate, delicious. All the chocolates, delicious. Like, really awesome. That was just great. That was the perfect way to end the Smash the Crate. Yeah, I yeah, knew what we was doing on that one. Fruit. Yeah. I love it. Overall, this keto crate was really, was. really good, right? I think it had oh, enough savory really. for the savory people. The sweets were high quality mm -hmm. sweets. Yes, they were they top were notch yeah. sweets, Same. right? Yeah, enjoy quite a few. Yeah, and so I am I'm definitely giving this an A plus. And do you oh, know who else nice. I want to give this an A plus? Who? The person that won this keto oh, crate, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh and gosh. that person is right here. <gasps> there you are. I mean Woo! congrats. Winner, winner, really. Well, like keto crate. Keto crate. Oh my Not gosh. dinner, just keto winner winner yeah, keto, keto crate. crate. It it is great. Keto crate, you know, like, no? Okay. All right. Either way, send me an email at watchautumnketo at gmail.com and I will send your information along and they will get your keto crate right out to you because right in front of your door. this is a good one. Like, I really, really enjoyed this one. Okay. The cookie department. Delicious. Oh, that was yeah, That was so good. Delish. Yeah, those were good too. Yeah, so many good things. Even oh, though delish. there were, and you know, even though I was just like, like, I feel like something went wrong with these. I feel like these didn't get the chance they deserved. I feel like those did get the chance they deserved, and that just was what it was. You know what I'm saying? Um, but overall, it was absolutely delicious, and that's why I love the Keto Crate. If you didn't win, don't worry. You can still get this month's crate by clicking the link in the description box below and get a discount on your yes. very first Keto Crate. Like, this is one to get, right? And I have a feeling that they're only going to get better going into the holiday season, right? Yes. Holiday season. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Holiday season. Yeah. 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 So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch Autumn Keto, so that you get notified whenever we go live or post a new video. And on that note, we'll see you next month. Bye. Bye. Yes. Chooty chooty. No. Chooty chooty bang bang. Why, Lord? <laughs> well, the elbow. The, Here, the stab it. The might be autumn proof. Stab it. Stab it. Are you okay over there? Yeah, it's just, I, I should have got scissors. The mama stuff. <laughs> I needed scissors. Oh, I'm nice. so sorry. I mean, paging scissors. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I think instead of it's myself, I think I'm saying myself to sound smart, but I think it's me. <laughs> Don't know where my scissors are. Watch that elbow. Over no. Bam. Hey guys, welcome to the October. Mm. Okay, never mind.